Hey YouTubers, Jim and Jenny from Ohio here, and we haven't made a chicken coop video in a while, so we thought we'd go ahead and and post one today, uh, let you know what we've got going on. Uh, it's now the end of the summer, we're into actually the end of September, and uh, so we wanted to show everybody what we're doing. Uh, actually, it should be done about twice a year to keep your chickens healthy. Uh, we're just giving everything a good cleaning. Uh, you can see we've got uh, the uh, dividers between our nesting boxes out of the chicken coop. If you remember back when we built it, we built it in a way that we could do that just specifically for this reason. Um, we've got as many things taken down out of the coop as we can. Um, as I mentioned, the divider boards, we've got one of the uh, perches taken out, we've taken our door off, um, we've taken the uh, ladder that the chickens use to access the coop, uh, and, and what we've done, uh, all of those items are over on the other side of the chicken yard, they're drying out in the sun. Uh, we picked a nice day to do this. Um, uh, since we were going to get everything all sopping wet, we wanted to make sure we started as early in the daytime as possible so that all the wood has a chance to dry out before we have to close the chickens back in it tonight. Um, and what we did, um, we rinsed everything down really good with the hose. Then we uh, mixed a solution of vinegar and water, a very strong solution. and. Uh, we use that instead of soap. We didn't want to affect the chickens in any way by any harsh chemicals or detergents. We didn't want to leave any type of, of uh, chemical odors that uh, might affect the chickens' uh, uh, lungs or, or their, affect their breathing. So we just wiped everything down. Now, uh, as I mentioned, we're doing this because it's the end of the year and it really needed it, but uh, another reason that we did it is last week we lost one of our chickens. It died, uh, got sick over a period of about a week, and then ended up not pulling through. So we're not sure if it had something internally, a disease. Uh, we just didn't want any germs to be left behind to cause the other chickens to get sick. So. We just wanted to take every every method of precaution uh, possible. So we uh, took a good stiff bristled brush, uh, and as I mentioned, we did the vinegar water solution. We scrubbed everything down, and I was really surprised at how well it worked on the uh, chicken poop and the bird poop. Uh, there was some areas that uh, things were built up pretty thick, so we took a good uh, stiff uh, uh, putty knife and uh, kind of scraped away at it. And, and everything, as I mentioned, worked out real good. You can see the girls here, they're, uh, I think they're happy that everything's clean. They're in here taking their uh, daily dust baths. Um, but, um, just wanted to show you what we're doing and uh, how we're doing it, and hopefully everybody else is uh, using a similar uh, uh, a similar uh, method of keeping their chickens healthy. So uh, watch again later on. We'll be posting some more videos and and some more instructionals on how we've taken care of our chickens. Now that winter's coming on, we hope to work on a few more projects and and build a few more accessories for the chicken coop and when we do we'll let everybody know where they can uh, see those and, and learn how to do them yourself. Uh, one thing that I would like to point out if you are going to use the vinegar water solution uh, if you use this type of feeder or watering can that's made out of galvanized metal you definitely do not want to clean that with vinegar. Uh, vinegar will react with the galvanized metal and uh, cause a chemical reaction. It'll probably discolor the uh, the uh, the feeder or the fount metal uh, and and cause it to rust sooner. But um, that's something you definitely uh, do not want to do. So hope this video was helpful. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, be watching uh, for more videos that we'll post soon. Uh, don't forget to also visit our website at www.informationcupboard.com where we'll post a copy of all of our videos for you to watch. Well, take care. Bye-bye.